November 8th has come and gone. Donald Trump is officially our 45th president, and the U.S. has been binging on campaign coverage for the last 12 months straight. Is that president? We're going to build. We made a mistake. She's guilty as hell. And America has one hell of an election hangover. I wanted to find out just how bad it is. Did you binge watch election coverage? Oh, yeah, with a lot of popcorn. Yes, 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 I am hoping to God that we never have another election like this. I think it's something you had to do against your gut. What are some of the symptoms? I got a little cramp, like, ugh. Yeah, I have a headache, and I'm tired. My stomach did get queasy. A lot of exhaustion. Not wanting to do anything. Have you done anything to cure it? Take a nice, heavy whiskey shot. Taking a definite break from social media. Having faith in humanity, and that this will turn out OK. I smoked a big, big joint. <laughs> <laughs> well, if these people are any indication, our nation's election hangover is definitely pretty bad. Of course, one of the best cures, as we all know, is a little hair of the dog. Just another taste to help us get our fix until those midterms roll around in 2018. Luckily, just because the election is over, it doesn't mean that the political process is. There's still plenty that you can do to stay involved. While it's all fun to come out of the woodworks every four years to vote for a president, you should vote locally because that's really what matters. I think we all have to learn to have uncomfortable conversations that get us out of our, our bubble. And no matter where you fall on the spectrum, I feel like you have to be involved. Stop talking and take action. Well, there you have it. We may still be in the midst of an election hangover, but there's plenty that you can do to help pull yourself out of it. And if none of those appeal to you, then you can always wait for the next election cycle to begin, which I'm guessing is probably sometime next week. I'm Liz Plank, reporting for Lifetime. ago, there were more votes that were cast for the Idol finale than were cast to select the leader of the free world. America, we need to talk. Your priorities are totally out of whack.